Hey guys, Stavros from Nomadic Supply Company, and today I am just going to try to give a, a explanation of how to wire our GNERT uh, subwoofer and amplifier into a 2019 plus Mercedes Sprinter 907 uh, camper van. So our subwoofer and amplifier kit is going to come with the Amp V40, which is a four channel amplifier. Uh, this miniature amplifier can be mounted anywhere that you want in the Sprinter. Um, some people mount it under the passenger seat and they access it through the side panel that can be removed uh, when the doors open. Other people mount it behind the cup holders or up inside the dash. Um, and some of our European customers will mount it uh, inside this compartment here. Um, so the kit is going to come with this four channel amplifier. It's going to come with all the wiring harnesses that you need to install it. And it's going to come with a subwoofer. Um, but it is not self-explanatory and this is not a project for a DIY person to do. We recommend that you take this to a reputable car audio place and have them install it for you. Um, in case you want to give it a go, uh, we have figured out how all the wiring harnesses should be and I'm going to try to just explain that a little bit in this video so that if any of you have any questions once you get this package in the mail, maybe this video will be helpful. I'll also put a photo at the end of the video with all the harnesses connected in the proper manner so you can see how to kind of pre-connect them before you plug them all in and try to route them through the band to the subwoofer and the amp. Um, so the amplifier, when you take it out of the box, is going to come with two harnesses on it. Um, they're not connected. So you're going to be connecting both of these harnesses. Um, one is this brown harness with these wires that goes here. And the other one is all these full color wires with a black harness and that goes on the left side here. And those are self-explanatory because they only fit one way. Um, in this scenario with just a subwoofer, we're not going to be using these wires. So these are unused in this install. And then the next segment is going to be a harness that comes in the subwoofer packaging. Um, that section plugs into the amplifier and your subwoofer. So this section of wires is one harness. And you can see here it's about two feet long um, that's covered. And then the rest of it sticks out and has the harnesses attached. So on one end of this, you're going to connect the black and yellow from the harness to your amp. You're going to connect the green, white, gray, and purple with the brown harness to the brown harness on the amp. And this end, which has black and gray, goes into the black harness on the amp. The purple and green, which have a white connector, are going to connect to the long harness that goes all the way out to your subwoofer. So if you decide you want to mount your subwoofer underneath the passenger seat, if you don't have an auxiliary battery, um, if you do have an auxiliary battery, you can mount our subwoofer behind the passenger seat in the living space, or you can mount it behind the driver's seat in the living space. Um, if you do not have anything under the passenger seat and it's just a wide open box, the sub can go right in there. Um, so this long wiring harness here that just has a simple white connector on each end is just an extension wire that gets you to the subwoofer. So this runs wherever the subwoofer goes, and that plugs in with the purple and green wires right into the amplifier. So that is the connection of this center harness. The other end of that harness connects to these taped wires that have the cloth wire tape on them. This harness is what plugs into your head unit. So we've dropped the head unit back out of this sprinter now. It's hanging down. And 
you can see here, this one is pretty self-explanatory once it's been connected. Um, your green, purple, gray, and white with a brown harness goes to the brown harness. And then these two harnesses together will plug into this large harness here. We're not using these in this application. And then the other end, which is the final connection for your harnesses, is really self-explanatory. This part's easy. This harness that looks just like the factory harness right here, you take the factory harness out of your stereo and you're gonna plug this one into it. And then you have the factory harness hanging there. You plug that into this one. So your factory harness goes into here. This replaces the factory harness. And then everything goes out to the amp and the amp goes out to the subwoofer. I'll put a photo at the end of the video so you can kind of like lay it out on the floor and make it easy um, and pre-wired. And then once you've got all those harnesses connected, you'll be able to plug them into your head unit and run them to wherever you want to mount your amplifier and then run that very long extension out to wherever you want to put the subwoofer. And you can do that right under the factory floor. There's some wire chases pre-built. You just pop off the plastic panel, chase your wires, and you can put it in any location that you want. Um, I'll put a link in the comments on how to order the product on the website. Thanks. All right, guys, so just showing you how we wire the Genert subwoofer into the head unit. Um, you got to take up, this is a passenger van, so it has the center aisle air conditioning and heating duct right here. So you have to take up all that duct work and all of the trim work, and you have to take the trim off the dash here that wraps around, and then you run all your wires for your amplifier from the head unit down through the dashboard and then down to where you mount your amplifier which in our van is going up here under the footwell and then you're going to take the really long subwoofer wire and you're going to have to use fish tape and you start your fish tape under this factory wire chase you go through the driver's seat, out that channel in the back, attach your subwoofer wire to your fish tape, and then pull that through this factory wire chase. And you'll see I have it right here. So once that's pulled through, you can run it through the wire chase here, and then up into the dashboard where it connects to the amplifier and that all will feed right up here to the head unit. And that's everything you need to get the wire for the subwoofer over to the driver's seat, if that's where you choose to mount it. Uh, again, if you have a space under your passenger seat because you didn't put an auxiliary battery under there from the factory, you can fit the subwoofer under the passenger seat as well.